All right, guys, let's continue. Uh, let's continue uh, part number four, Cyberpunk. Uh, we got to meet up with Kirk over here. If you watched the previous uh, part three, we have a job to do here. We're supposed to uh, steal something, I don't know, from the Militech organization, uh, some kind of uh, weapon or something. And um, the Kirk will let us in in on the details and uh, how we're supposed to do that all right so let's continue let's let's uh, go ahead and see how this uh, mission goes according to Johnny Silverhand we shouldn't be trusting this guy Kirk he shouldn't be trusted and I think I should have listened to Johnny Silverhand aka John Wick but we're gonna take a risk anyway because uh, we need the money so see how it goes maybe we'll get paid some good sum of money for this so uh, anyway let's go ahead let's continue let's not waste any time this is part number four of cyberpunk 2077 playstation 5 all right so let's continue What's up, Kirk? Happy to see you too, but how about let's not broadcast it, hmm? Right, right, sorry. No need for a scene. Okay, see that garage right there? Van's inside. You go in, grab the tech, get out, we split it 50-50. Clear? Kinda in a rush here. Every time somebody says 50-50, it sounds like uh, I'm going to get screwed over. Yeah. But we're going to do this anyway, regardless. Kind of in a rush here. I thought this was a job for two. Looks like I'm carrying all the weight here. All the weight? All the fucking weight? Who's going to keep watch? Me, of course. Anything happens, you'll know. You scan the area, anyone inside? All clear, V. Not a soul. Can waltz right in like you own the place. All clear my ass. I have a bad feeling about this mission, man. This is just not gonna end up that well. But look, we're gonna go in. in a rush here. We're gonna go in. We're gonna go in and see where it goes. If it goes haywire, then I'm coming for your ass, Kirk, and your ass only. All right, here we go. Kind of in a rush here. Okay, in I go. Head on a swivel, right? You got it. Are there. What the fuck is this? Clothes? Mm hmm. Cheap knockoffs, too. Had real great intel, that Kirk. Like always, actually. But hey, could strike out on your own. Open up a stand in Kabuki, or maybe. Implants? Fucking Militech wear. I'm gonna shove these duds right up his ass. Shit. Now firefight. Wow, the fun's just getting started. Have a good time, V. Oh, fucking fuck. Oh, look. Estoy 
देखा नहीं Get for a lifetime of hustling. Nice speech. Remind me not to invite you to my funeral. How about him? Gonna tell anyone to scrape him up and put him under? No one to tell. Listen, you ever, um, check up on Mama Wells? Might need someone, now that Jackie's gone. She's a strong woman. She'd do just fine without me. You know what I mean. Jackie had his secrets. Someone might want to get even. Nobody will touch her. Trust me. And besides, you should also stop by and see her. It's only right. Talk later. Bye, Echo Dios.
I'm waiting for a friend. Thanks. You don't look like your typical Chinese chef. And you don't look like a typical fucking customer. You got a problem?
Jacob got his eye back, so I'm closing this gig, but B, we both know that wasn't top quality work. Maybe try a little harder next time, okay? Gig closed, and thanks.
I will be back, guys. I just have to make some coffee. I need some coffee. So I'll be right back.
And we are back. We are back. All right, let's do this. So, man, I've been uh, really hooked into Cyberpunk. I've been playing it now for quite a while. I've been really digging it, man. Oh, it runs great, man. Oh, you gotta try Cyberpunk, man. Now's the best time to try it. If you're gonna play Cyberpunk, now's the time to play it. Processing plant, deserted end card station. <laughs> In the south of Japan town, there is a street market. It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait. Well, you have, like I said, um, all the updates are included. Every single update that was released in the past, what, three years, it's included. Uh, and you also get Phantom Liberty, and Phantom Liberty is something I want to play after I finish this, obviously. Pretty cool story, by the way. Hey, look. What? What's so interesting about Cyberpunk is there's three different characters you can play with three different classes, right? Um, you got the street kid, you got the corporation, and then you got, um, I forgot what the other one was. It's like three different classes you can play. And they all kind of are different. They're set in a different uh, parts of the city, which makes it even more unique and, and cool. Now I gotta talk to Rogue. She's gonna tell me the whereabouts of this uh, this chick that might know Evelyn. Hey Rogue, got the scratch. Got the cred for the helmet job. Fine. 
Anders Hellman, flick me the deeds. Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. Where do I sit down? Here? Hope you found him. Don't see that often. Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Bottle stays. Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Think she'll help? The rogue I remember was one cold-ass bitch. But she usually went with her gut. Something tells me she thinks you check out. Let's see what you got. Your Hellman's not on any payroll, not officially anyway, but he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Probably keeping him hidden from Arasaka. Must have worked on a top secret project. Mm-hmm. Hidden from Arasaka or any other megacorp that wants what he knows. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. But, there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. The bad news. I was gonna watch that yesterday, but I got busy yesterday. Uh, I might watch Pick up it the pace. On Amazon Prime. The, uh, the fallout. The guy from the Twin Peaks is in it. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm-hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look. Their backup hustle will be on us. But... Right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city, and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. A dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. Oh, this will be a big... Big mission, though. You're wasting my time. I did play the Fallout games, but I never really like, um... Pick up the pace. I never followed through with them. Like, I never, like, finished them. I'm aware of the Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas and all the other ones that came in after that, but I never dived into it. Um, so far, it looks pretty good, man. I heard, like, uh, it's getting a great... Great reviews so far. Like it was done right. You're wasting my time. You know who produced it, right? The uh, Todd Howard. Todd Howard and Amazon. Uh, they produced it. 
Todd Howard, which is uh, you know Bethesda CEO. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the last one coming soon. Eh, I don't know if I'm a big fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. When I was a little kid, maybe. But right now, I'm in. Uh, well, Netflix, you got a competitor. I mean, Netflix still good. Don't get me wrong, but Amazon's been uh, been dominating so far with uh, the Roadhouse and now this TV show coming out. Uh, Fallout, and they got some other TV shows down the pipeline coming out later on this fall. Pick up the pace. So, Amazon Prime's doing pretty good, man. So, a native. Know any hick marks? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her and not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Navin Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Oh, dude. Uh, Jack Creature TV show. With that You're new wasting actor. my time. I forgot his name. The guy that was in a bunch of other movies. Uh, Alan something. I think his name is Alan or something like that. And uh, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. He got Pick totally up jacked case. up for that uh, role, man. He got like really big, man. He got totally jacked up. Why's Pan Am got to help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She run into a hitch? Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her. But if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. I'm sure they paid him good, good amount. Uh, but from what I understand, Keanu is the type of guy who's like willing to make. You're some, wasting my time. Who's willing to make some sacrifices in terms of like what he gets paid? Like sometimes, I don't know if you guys, you probably, you guys probably don't know this, but yeah, I'll let you know. Keanu is the type of guy that obviously doesn't care that much about money, because. Um, majority of the money that he made he gave it out to uh other people uh stuntmen special effect guys who made the matrix movies possible other movies possible he even took a cut from the john wick franchise to make the john wick franchise uh be possible he also sponsored uh dog star for them to go on the tours and and start playing you know around the country um and he also donates a lot of money to uh, kids with leukemia. Uh, he, he donates a lot of money, dude. So, you know, he's the type of guy that is willing to sacrifice some of his own cut and get paid maybe a little bit less just to help the project. Like, he likes helping the project. Like, if he believes, this is what he says. He says, if he believes in the project, then he's willing to sacrifice. Like, he'll cut the pay. Like, all right, don't, you don't have to pay me that much use some of that money and pay it for the programmers and other actors and motion capture and whatnot so he's the type of guy that like it's wants to kind of help the project you know yeah he was just happy to be there man like he was like yeah dude uh yeah let's do it he's a i mean that that's so that's just so interesting about the guy i mean the guy's 350 350 million net worth you know He's like 250 million net worth. But he majority of that money, dude, he just gives it to other people for other projects, to help the industries, to, to help people out there who are help create more jobs by creating these different mediums of, you know, um, 
Arch Motorcycles. He built that company, hiring people to work on his motorcycles. You know, uh, dude, so many things the guy does. I mean, um, that's what that's what makes him so unique. Is that um, even that movie Knock Knock? He ba he basically did that movie for free as a favor to Eli Roth. You guys know Eli Roth. Uh, he's the uh, the horror movie director. He did Hostel and a bunch of other movies. Uh, he does ma mainly horror movies. So um, Keanu kind of did that movie almost for free while he was filming and preparing at the same time to do John Wick, the first John Wick in 2014. So he did that movie practically for free. And... Uh, and if you watch that movie, I'm not going to spoil it, but you're going to be pretty su surprised like what he agreed to do. Um, and uh, especially since Eli Roth's wife was in that movie as well. Um, so I think he's the type of guy that just, like you said, wants to be part of the project and wants to help the project. He's a team player. It's like, hey, if I can help... Uh, then cut my salary. You don't have to pay me all that. I'm not going to be this diva. If I can help, let me help. Um, and uh, that's that's the great thing about he, he dude. He was also in the Phantom Liberty, from what I understand. He's in the Phantom of Liberty as well. And uh, he was just happy to be part of it, man. <laughs> You know, but wouldn't tell Pan Am. Aim to play cat and mouse with me too? My aim is to know an opportunity when I see one, and then to seize it. Say I told her everything. What do you think she'd have done? Grabbed her iron and gone on the warpath, that's what. Not hard to see how that could end it. And there's nothing I hate more than losing good people to plain stupidity. Huh. I'm her only chance, and she's my only chance. Two pawns on Rogue's board. You're quick. For a pawn. No, oh, V. I, yeah, listen. I think every game should have an option. Pick up a pace. And we even talked about this before. I believe every game should have option to be in the third person. Um... I like having the option of the first person and the third person. <clears throat> I like that option of having the uh, first person and third person option. I think every game should have that option. The If you have that option, then it just makes the game better in many ways. You, meaning you're giving people an option and you're not forcing them to be in a, in a first person mode. I think every game should have this standard. You know, like Grand Theft Auto is a great example, like GTA 5. I can play GTA 5 in the first person if I want to. I can play the entire game in a first person mode. But I love the fact that I also have the option of playing it in a, in a third person mode. Having option should be a basic necessity for every video game. The more options you have, the better. Let people choose how they want to play the game. Right? You should be able to choose how you want to play it. Uh, what is your fetish? Oh, my fetish is playing in the first person. Okay, well, you've got that option. And if you want to play it in the third person, you got that option as well. Fine. Let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Oh, finally. Let's get out of here. <laughs> All clear. Thanks. Good luck. Alright, so we gotta get in touch with this ship called Pan Am. <laughs> Yeah. 
hang on just a little longer, too. Ripper's on the way. Again. Hey, look. What? What the hell is that? Could you give me some personal space, please? Who would have yeah. thought? There's something you would want. you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. Hmm. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Yeah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe I ask them both. Uh... Hi? Is that Misty? I like how Keanu... Fuck it. Nothing shows even you, matters. like, certain things to see. Right, he will like let you know. Oh, look at that. Oh, and look mm -hmm. at that. Like, check this out. And then, like, you look, and you're gonna say, "Oh, hold on a second. That's Misty. Why is Misty's uh, graffiti so here? The whole world is fucked." Let me take a photo. Hold on. See, I would have never realized because I just wanted to kind of exit. I wanted to go out, but Keanu said to me, "I mean, Johnny Silverhand says, hey, look at that. Like, check that out." Like, I would have never realized that's Misty. Misty is a character that was a, a girlfriend to um, Jackie, Jackie Wells. Jackie Wells died, you know, in the game. Spoilers warning. So now she's mourning him and, you know. And then me, the characters, you know, is trying to comfort her and, you know, make her feel whatever. Make her feel better. I'm not trying to get in her pants. You know, I'm just trying to make her feel better. So, but sometimes you gotta get in her pants to make her feel better, right? I'm just, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, see, like, this would be nice, like, Cameron. If I could switch to a third person mode, like, right now would be kind of cool. If I could switch to a third person mode and just walk around, see my character, see my jacket, see my tattoos, see my appearance, you know. No, no, think about it. What's the point of, of you having all these different, like, what's the point of making the uh, appearance? Like, your, what's, what's the point of building your character and having the jacket and all this other accessories and all this other shit if you can't see it, right? So what's the point? Now think about this. What is the point of you even giving me an option of having an accessories, having jackets and clothing and outfits if I cannot see my character, if I only see him once in a while? I want to be able to see my character at all time, dude. I want to see how he looks. I want to see my outfit. I want to see everything that I have. You know, I think giving people a third person option, it's a mandatory basic necessity. I think every video game should have this basic necessity. Let people choose. You know, it's like uh, television, right? You have the motion flow, that motion flow effect, that soap opera effect. It's there, you don't have to use it, you don't have to watch it, right, like that, but it's there, if you want it, you can have it, so same thing here, if I want it, let me have it, if I don't want it, I'll turn it off, right, and it's just beyond me, and we talked about Deanna Jones, right, in Deanna Jones, same thing, first person, why? Why does Indiana Jones has to be in first person? Why can't it be third person? Why can't you give us two options? First person, third person. 
Like, why does it have to be forced? See, this is what me and Kemi were talking about. We don't like being forced something. Let me choose. Let me and him choose how we want to play it. We shouldn't be forced to just play it a certain way, you know. There we go. Ghost Town saved. I gotta get in touch with this chick. Uh, what's her name? Pan Am. Pan Am Palmer. Hold on. Hey, Pan Am Palmer. This is Baba Yaga. How you doing? I heard you are the one that's going to set up this entire mission. Please give me a call when you get a chance. Hello? Yeah, it's me. John Wick with the biggest stick. Who else did you think? Johnny Silverhand? No. Hey. Pan Am. Got your number from Rogue. Name's V. Great. Where's that old warhorse wanna kick me now? Forget Rogue. I can help you. Forget Rogue for a minute. I wanna help you. Oh, very kind. But it's far too little, far too late. So do tell Rogue she can eat my shorts. Tell it to your therapist. Calling about your ride and the merch you lost. Interested? Or are you going to tell me to eat your shorts, too? The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya. All right. Maybe I'm going to eat her shorts after all. What do you think, Johnny Silverhand? Let me call my arch motorcycle. Where is it? Yeah. Oh, did I tell you, Cameron? They're taking a full advantage of haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, and, and, 3D audio. Yeah, I know I broke in my headset, but it doesn't matter. They work. 3D audio. So they're taking a full advantage of PlayStation 5. Full advantage. And also the speakers, they're taking advantage of the built-in speakers as well. Where's my motorcycle? You know what? I think you said this. Maybe, 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 maybe you didn't, but I think you might have said this three years ago. I think you said that this game wasn't ready. They should have held it off for another two years or something. I think we had, when, when like in 2020, I think me and you had a conversation about this. I might have to look at the live stream, but I think you might have said they should have held off this game. To like a uh, couple more years and then release it and it was true you were right they should have hold off this game for another couple of years and then release it but i think it was not the developers from what i have heard it was warner brothers it was warner brothers interactive warner brothers had has investors and stock money into this game warner brothers interactive wanted this to be released on christmas uh december of 2020 and uh, it clearly it was not ready. Clearly the game was not ready. Even though for some weird ass reason, it worked well on Stadia out of all the places. Dude, remember? It worked really good on Stadia, 60 FPS. To me, that was the, 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 the most uh, interesting thing ever out of all the, out of all the systems. 
<laughs> it worked the best on Stadia. That was the, the biggest shocker, dude. Oh, easily two years. Easily two years. And now with a Phantom, you see Phantom Pain? No, not Phantom Pain. Phantom Liberty, 10 out of 10. The score of Phantom Liberty, it's masterpiece. You got Keanu Reeves, Idris Elba, and some more actors, actresses in that game. 10 out of 10. Uh, Phantom Liberty, I can't wait to play. It's on sale right now for 25 bucks. It's a spring sale on PlayStation, $25. Um, but now is the best time, right? Right now, dude. Get the bundle. Get the Phantom Liberty bundle, dude. Now is the best time. You're gonna have the best spring summer playing uh, Cyberpunk. This is, this is like the best time right now, man. This is your best time. All right, where's my arch motorcycle? There it is. There you are. Woo! Look at this beauty. Check this out. I'm gonna show you something, guys. Check this out. Shithead, huh? Say it again. Say it again. I double dare you. I double dare you. Say it. I'll shoot your tires, huh? 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 You're messing with John motherfucking Wick. Mother. Wick! Mother fucking Wick! Let's go. All units in the area, we have an urgent situation in oh, West. Fuck, 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 got some heat. Uh, Roger, dispatch. Don't they got core security? I know, damn, I know. Uh, fine. Far away. Suspect's vehicle has been located. She Details drove the first blood, man, alright? She pulled up the gun on me. Listen, this is why Suspect has disappeared. don't run your All mouth in the road rage. Don't the run your mouth in the road rage because you never know what kind of John Wick with the biggest trick you might encounter. That's right. Be mindful of that. All units in the area, order has been restored. All units instructed to return to patrol.
I gotta meet this chick, Pan Am. She said she's gonna help me out with uh, hijacking this. that has this guy in it that it's um, uh, it's like protecting Sakura anyway long story short I don't wanna you guys are probably like wondering what the hell is he talking about who the hell is Sakura and why does he why do they need to grab Sakura you know anyway check this out Check this out, guys. Guys, listen. I want you to pay a close attention. All right? I just want you to pay a close attention. And when I say I've seen a lot of asses, I mean, I have seen a lot of asses. All different kinds of different flavors and shapes of asses. But this one, sells jeans, Levi's, an instant. You guys welcome. You guys welcome. You guys welcome, okay? I'm just saying. You guys welcome. Welcome. I said you guys welcome. Say, yeah, it's okay. You, you, you know, you don't have to say thank you. It's okay. Just keep uh, touching the third leg. It's all right, man. Just keep stroking one out. You're welcome. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not here to judge. I'm not here like whatever. I'm saying. Thank you would have been nice. That's all I'm saying. Thank you would have been nice. Thank you would have been really nice, right? There. Yeah, you guys welcome. You guys very welcome. Guys, come on now. Stop typing. You guys need to start typing. Because if you're not typing, then you're doing something else. Then you're doing... Come on now. Then you're doing this. Listen, I think we can enjoy my banana here. Come on. Hold on, here we go. Now I have to eat my banana. You guys enjoy. She'll uh, she'll take her time. She's changing the carburetor. It's gonna take take time. You know? Gotta eat my banana now. Thank you. Oh, this is even better from here. I haven't finished my banana yet. Oh, 
Oh yeah, she's uh, I think she's fixing uh, radiator. I think radiator is leaking. I, I think that's what it is. Radiator is leaking. Yeah. Hundred percent. Hey, Pan Am. So you're a V. Yeah. Where's my car? Your car? I mean, uh, it's right here. What's gotten into you? Nothing. I'm just checking your rear end. What, I'm not supposed to check your rear end? What is this? Come on now. I want to make sure your rear end is okay. You know how people are these days? They, they, they tailgate Beep. everybody. They tailgate you. No. Everybody's tailgating. And I want to make sure your, your rear end didn't get T-boned. So you should thank me. What class did I choose? Street kid. Street kid. What's gotten in here? My is gone. My is gone. Here. Oh. I slapped her with my banana. With my banana, I slapped her. Look. You, how dare you? You should answer my phone call. When I call you, you pick it up? If you don't pick up your phone, that means you're talking to 3,000 other dudes. You cannot be talking to 3,000 other freaking dudes with their ding-dongs. There's only one guy you should be talking to. The banana man. V? Yeah, the banana man, me. So when I call you, pick up that phone, okay? Pick it up immediately. Otherwise, I'll, I'll spank you with my banana. You better believe it. You better believe it. Anyway, I wish there was a banana man class. I chose the Banana Man class. There it is, guys. Look. Hold on. What's saying, gotten into you? Banana's gotten into me. That's what's gotten into me right now. A banana! You better believe it. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. We had enough of that. Hold on. Wait. I gotta take a photo of this. There we go. This is being on my uh, wallpaper for PlayStation 5. Rogue said we can help each other. We can help each other. Rogue said so. Yeah. I might have guessed. All right. Tell me all you know. Fail. And you can run back and tell Rogue to fuck right off. Hey, relax. I mean, really, you should relax. You should relax because... Because I can touch it. See how big my hands are? I, I, I can really touch it. I can really touch it. Hold on, look.
I think I'm advertising Levi's jeans. I'm telling you, these Levi's jeans are going to be selling like hotcakes. So easy to stop that. Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car. If you go alone, you won't get him back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? I'm doing great, man. How can I how could I not be doing great? Look at this. I mean, look at this. I can even walk. Some more photos of this. This this is unbelievable. So what does she wants me to do? I I'm sorry. I was uh, I couldn't focus. I couldn't focus because your big Jupiter ass was right in my face with all of its moons going around it. I need your help hitting up. I need your help hitting that booty. Could you could you help? Please. I need your help to get that booty ready for me. Need to hit a Kang Tao transport. Won't be easy. Wanna know I can count on you. Are you out of your goddamned mind? What? About you or the job. Kang Tao's AV route will take it over Jackson Plains. Heard that should help us. Yeah, I doubt it. Gonna be a guy on board. Need to talk to him. Fuck. Your booty has turn, done something with my eyebrows. Cargo. Help Look. him getting back what's yours. We got a deal? I don't know. I... Shit! Yeah, it is a swimsuit. Alright, deal. But if yeah. you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Cars in a hold on. Cars in the Rockies Ridge. Why this car is so important? By the way, you're really good looking. V? Oh, calm down, all right? I don't want to lose you. We're just starting our relationship on the right foot. Why is this car so important? I thought this was mostly about the merch. Fuck the merch. With that ride, I can take any transport job in town. Without it, only thing I can move is pizza. Maybe. All right, I'll get your car. It's in the Rockies Ridge, but I'm doing it for you. Okay? I just What's want... gotten into you? No! Hear me out. Don't cut like that in front of me. Let me talk. I want you to remember what I said. I'm doing this for you. So I want you to remember this. That I dropped a grenade for you. I got eaten by sharks for you. V? I got molested by skinwalkers at night for you. And I got in a circle jerk with Sasquatches for you. The things I do for you. I just want you to remember all of that. I did it for you. Yeah. So the car's in the Rockies Ridge. I'm going to pick it up for you. I'll tell you what, What's man. What's gotten into you? I know Cameron likes her. Cameron loves brunettes. I can tell you this is a... Cameron, this is your chick, right? This has to be your chick, 100%, Cameron. I'm like... I like. I can see, like, uh, this being a Cameron's girlfriend. Like, 100%. 100%. Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that I is. I love blondes. Cars I, see, there, I never told this to anybody there. until Nashing, now. But bastard. I love blondes. I I'm, a, I'm a you. blonde kind of, you know, fetish guy. I don't know, I just love blondes. I don't know what it is. I see a blonde, I'm like, whoa. I mean, I don't mind the brunettes, redheads, it's fine, you know. But if I see a blonde, ooh. 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 Whoa. 
Whoa. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Let's go. Who's Nash? Nash, you chew me yours? He you hang you out to dry? Do not call him that. <laughs> Fine. Partner. Former. If ever. The shift tricked me. He straight nipped my truck in the merch. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? Um... I actually... Funny you mentioned it, because right now I'm selling uh, some of my old consoles. I'm selling my PlayStation 4 Pros. I'm selling my... Uh, what else I'm selling? My PlayStation VR 1. I'm selling my Xbox Series X. I'm selling my uh, Xbox One X Scorpio. And uh, what else I'm selling? Dude, I'm selling a bunch of stuff on eBay. Uh, because uh, right now I'm struggling with money a little bit. Um, kind of sucks, but, you know, you do what you got to do. You know, I've been kind of having a difficult time trying to, to find a job and... It's been kind of it's been kind of tough, man. People are not hiring. They're just you know whatever. It's not what you know. It's who you know, right? It's kind of, that's that's how you get a job these days. It's not what you know. It's who you know, right? And uh, right now, I don't know that many people to to really kind of like you know. They look at this guy. They're like, look at me, man. They, they, people look at me even right now. They're thinking all kinds of sorts of different things, man. Fuck, man. That's just my luck. So I've been kind of selling. Um, selling a lot of stuff but i'm not gonna sell playstation 3 fat playstation 3 fat it's off limits i i cannot sell that even if i'm out on the street i gotta have my playstation 3 fat because playstation 3 i can play playstation 1 games playstation 2 games and of course playstation 3 games now playstation 4 games i have playstation 5 so I can play all of my uh, PlayStation 4 games on a PlayStation 5. So I just need PlayStation 5 and a PlayStation 3 Fat. And I can play all of my PlayStation games. <sighs> yeah, man, uh, I got fired for some bullshit, man. It wasn't even my... It wasn't even my fault, man. It was just an honest mistake, uh, you know... What I, what I mean by it wasn't my fault, I don't want to get into details about it, man. It's just like, it's, it's, it's such bullshit. Anyway, it was a long time. It was like six months ago. This was like six months ago. Um, but, you know, it's always like that. I think they were just looking to get rid of me, dude. Um, like, and a one little mistake, it's all they needed for me. Uh, just a tiny little mistake, and that's all they needed to, to put me on a, on a fucking, you know, on a pedestal and put me on a cross and you know use the hammer and nails and but anyway I don't care I'm, I'm kind of glad that they fired my ass to be honest with you you know you don't want to work in an environment where people don't appreciate you and, and you feel underappreciated right you do all this fucking shit for 20 years and 20 fucking years right and then they fucking they, they kick you off the curve like it's fucking nothing but anyway I don't want to get into it. I don't want to talk about it. Because if I do it, it pisses me off, man. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I don't care, man. I live I live uh, day by day. You know. I don't care. What happens tomorrow happens tomorrow. What happens... Look, man, there might be a World War III. There might be a brief nuclear war exchange. I don't know what the fuck's going to happen, man. But I'm not going to worry about the future. I'm just going to live my day as if it's my last. I'm going to live in the fucking moment. And I'm going to enjoy every fucking minute of it, every fucking second of it, and that's it, man. I don't give a shit how people feel about me. I don't give a shit what people think about me. I'm just going to do me and enjoy me. F people who want to go along with me for the fucking ride, strap on a seatbelt, have a good time. And that's it. <laughs> that's the way I feel. <sighs> Sorry to hear that, OG. Yeah, man, it's bullshit. It's, it's it's always some bullshit, man. You know.
then, then it makes you realize that these companies really don't care. They're just using you, right? They're just using you, and then they're like, nah. Th that's the worst feeling, right? When you waste your 10 years or 20 years of your life working at some place, and, and then you're like, fuck, man. I, I feel totally betrayed. I feel totally like... Uh, and know what else you find out? You also find out who are not your friends. Like, no one's there to support you. No one's there to talk to you. No one's supporting you. You know, you also find out who's who, right? People whom you thought they were your friends, you find out, oh, fuck, they're not my friends. They're just looking out for themselves. They're just pretending, right? And all this bullshit. Uh, they're nowhere to be seen, nowhere to be heard on the phone calling me. Hey, I got my support and blah, blah, blah. Nope. Not of that shit. Um, it's just, uh, man, it's fucking bad out there, man. It's pretty fucking bad. But I don't want to talk about that. You know, you all know it's pretty fucking bad. I don't need to tell you, man. I don't need to tell you the obvious. You, you live the obvious every day. You know how fucking bad it is out there. I don't need to fucking tell you. <laughs> and it's only going to get worse and worse. I don't think it's going to get better. But that's why I'm living my life um, day by day. Every day, like if it's my last, I don't give a shit, man. What happens, happens. Um, I could die in my sleep. I could have a stroke in my sleep. I don't, who the fuck knows, man. And I mean, wrong place, wrong time. I could be, I could die in a fucking toilet. But I don't worry about that. I was like, fuck it. What happens, happens. When it happens, happens, fuck it. Just got to enjoy the moment, man. Enjoy, enjoy the right now. Fuck the future. Fuck the past. Enjoy the right fucking now. Anyway, let's go. All right, let's go to Rocky's Reach. Let's go. Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Want to tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Buzz. Hey. Now she's gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is, the motherfucker screwed me over. Boz, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Boz, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, Boz. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. You know, the best job you can have is to be your own boss. I think that's that's the key thing, man. If you can have a job where you work be? from home... Uh, I, I'm gonna... Look, man. I know it's not easy. I know it's hard. Unless you happen to be some fucking super hot chick and you got OnlyFans and you're on the, on the adult webcams and you're showing your titties, taking people privates, taking people to privates and showing your fucking tits and ass, whatever, and making money like that, then that's, you know, consider yourself lucky. But man, for us regular folks, regular men, it's really fucking hard, man. Uh, like, I mean, look at this, man. Even my YouTube channel, how many people I've got watching? Maybe seven, eight, maybe fucking seven, eight people at, at best. But if I was uh, some hot chick with a 44 double D and big giant fucking nipples sticking out and I had a great ass, uh, fuck. They were like 50,000 people would be watching this right now. 50,000 people would be watching. So, if you can figure out the way to work from home, man, if you can find a way to, to work from home, dude, consider yourself lucky. I'm not saying that's easy, too. Nothing, it's easy. You have to put in the work, of course. 
but it's better when you're your own boss. I just hate working for someone else, man. But sometimes you have to. Sometimes you fucking have to. But when you work for someone else, you know you're getting fucked over. You know they're using you. And they know you need a fucking job. And they're like, all right, you need a job. You need the fucking money. So take whatever we can fucking give you. Uh, and you just feel miserable, dude. You just feel like you're being fucking used, man. Uh, and that's why a majority of people are not happy. Because they're like, fuck, dude. I can't live off of this. What the fuck are you paying me? You're not even giving me a fucking full health benefits. And you fucking want me to do this, this, and that. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's just... If you can work for yourself and be lucky enough to figure out the way to be your own boss and work from home, man, consider yourself blessed and very lucky. Because uh, out there, man, it's fucking bad. Dude. Oh yeah. They have a they have a nickname for that, right? Friends with benefits. FWB. Friends with benefits. You know, let's just love that. I just love that when they say that. Oh yeah. Uh he's friends with benefits. Yeah. Yeah. I just love that. That Jezebel bullshit, you know. Phony bullshit phony manipulative voice yeah i have friends with benefits yeah 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 fuck man i guess i have to live in the woods really you know i gotta take my medicine guys i'll be right back yeah i'm taking a new medicine something for my blood i have to take it you know Man, I still have that. Because they were putting a bunch of stuff on my chest, monitoring my monitoring my heart rate and all that. It's still there. Anyway, um, let me grab my medicine. I'll be I'll be right back. got to take my medicine guys there it is my medicine it may cause dizziness yeah
may cause dizziness. Yeah. Oh, it may cause dizziness. You might even die from it. Yeah. Take these pills. You're gonna end up like Heath Ledger. Dude, my birthday's coming up, man. Gotta be careful. Me and Heath Ledger. We're the same birthday. Racket. I'm okay, man. I'm good. Ah. Thank, thank, thank you. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to. Yeah, got this. Got it. Let's go. No time to waste here. <laughs> Let's go, John Wick. What, what are we waiting for? Come on. Thank you, OG, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, man. Boz? Vista Del Rey, Boz. Had no idea you drive for 6th Street. Is that not allowed? No, nothing wrong with it. They still wild about stars, stripes, and core heartland values. A strong word, wild. And I don't care. They pay well. It's simple. All right, we're ready to do this. Where to now? So, where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. Fine, let's go. What are we waiting for? Let's go there right now. V? Rogue mentioned your friends. Said you guys stopped seeing eye to eye. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. It isn't? You mean to irritate me. Okay, then. It was just a hiccup. They're still family. So it's complicated. You might say so. Yes. So are they gonna help us? Any chance they might help us? In Rocky Ridge? That is the plan. That is the plan. So you know for a fact that they're gonna help us. What do you think, Johnny? What's gotten into you? You think she can be trusted? Should I trust her? Or should I just do my own thing? What do you think, Johnny boy? Yeah, I see. Your silence v? means you don't care either way. Okay, we're going fine. Let's go. Good, let's roll. Get in. Okay. God, hold your jeans on and your swimsuits on. Come in. Keanu Reeves doesn't give a fuck, is he? I don't give a shit. Nice ride you got there. Nice ride. Lots of space. Practical. Say no more. Please. How'd you even get involved in this mess? I'm just saying. How the hell'd you land in this mess? I like the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamn fool? Oh, I'm glad you asked that. Man. I gotta bring my microphone closer. I have played the PC version on 3090 Ti. I played on 3070. I played it on the uh, GeForce Now. I played Cyberpunk on Stadia. So many places. I think I played Cyberpunk everywhere. On my gaming laptop, you name it. Um, and I gotta tell you, and I know you guys can see it on this live stream, because I know this live stream, it's only 1080p with a very low bitrate, and you guys cannot see what I'm seeing. 
but you'll just have to trust me when I tell you. I'm using a LG C2 OLED, 42-inch, uh, right here in this office. And let me tell you, high dynamic range, um, graphics, it's in par with PC, bro. It's, it's almost identical to the PC version. It is almost identical, dude. Uh, even if I was to record it with my camera, even if I use my camera and I was recording it with my camera, 4K camera, even that 4K camera cannot depict like how good it looks with your own two eyes. Remember, the things that you see, something that's being processed through different formats and different bit rates, and compressed with different bit rates, you're losing the detail. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a decompressed. But when you see something natively playing in your television with all its glory of HDR and, and beautiful OLED screen, uh, dude, this it's 60 FPS, runs great, uh, no issues, no problems, just top-notch, man. It's really top notch. You just have to trust me, guys. I have no reason to lie, because I knew I played it. I played this game on 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 every format you can think of. I can only imagine how Phantom Liberty looks. I can only imagine how much they polished uh, Phantom Liberty, which is something I'm looking forward to after I finish this. And. And here it is, man. You can get this for what? 500 bucks? Or you can get a digital version for 400 bucks. And there you go, man. You know, get yourself a PlayStation. And, bro, for the price of a graphics card, you can have yourself a PlayStation 5 and get yourself a 2 terabyte NVMe SSD. Um, get yourself one of those uh, uh, external ssds as well so you can back up your stuff so you can back up your games and have it on the backup right and then you can always transfer it transfer those uh games and put them back and yeah so xbox well i don't know what to say about the xbox man it's just i don't know what to say man I'm just so disappointed by Xbox. I mean, I really... I just expected more, dude. I was really expecting... When they announced the Xbox One, I was like, I was expecting more. I was expecting to see uh, more new IPs I was expecting to see more stuff, but uh, it turns out that Xbox, it's only a service, and their main focus is a service. Yes, they're going to have some first-party games here and there once in a while, but uh, they're mainly focused on the service. You know? And don't get me wrong, I mean, Game Pass is a good service. You're going to get a bunch of games on there to play. But where's the exclusives? Right? Forza Motorsport, it's not an exclusive anymore because you can play it on PC. And pretty soon you'll be able to play it on PlayStation in the future. Um, sea of Thieves is not exclusive anymore. You can play it on PC and PlayStation. Um... So that begs the question, what's going to happen with uh, Hellblade 2? Is Hellblade 2 is going to be available on PlayStation as well? Or PlayStation 5 Pro? Right? You might see Hellblade 2 on a, a PlayStation 5 Pro in the future. Um, I don't know, man. I, I just... Uh, look, me and Cameron, we, have a, we did a podcast. Well, not a podcast. We did a live stream. Last Friday... Last, not, not this, but the, the one before. We did a live stream 
for like five and a half hours, me and Cameron. We did a, like a party chat. And uh, we talked about this. Like, we don't understand. I don't think anybody understand what's going on with Phil Spencer. I mean, I like the guy. I really like the guy. But I just don't understand what his objective is. <sighs> Like, what is the Microsoft objective? What is the Xbox objective? What is their final destination? What is it that they're trying to achieve? And they, they, he never kind of explained that. He's been kind of dodging the, the questions and kind of dancing around the questions, walking on eggshells, you know. He never really described to us, hey, X, Y, and Z, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2030. This is what we got in plan for Xbox. He never really laid out the, the plans or any of that stuff. So. so I really don't know where Xbox goes. I just don't know, guys. To me, Xbox is like a monolith. I have no clue. Like right now, in, in which direction the Xbox is going to go? Is it just going to be a service or are they going to do something else? Are they going to create a VR? Are they going to create a handheld? Are they going to do something else besides the Game Pass? Are they going to focus on first party games and, or maybe uh, limited first party exclusives? Uh, I have no clue, man. I just don't know. Phil Spencer seems like he's going to go to the Sega route. You know what? I think you are... You might be You might be right about that, actually. They might be going to that, to that route. Uh, but why? That's, that's my question. Why they feel... Here's what I, here's what I want to say. Regarding the... Um, the Xbox. People who don't know me, I owned every Xbox console. Now I sold it. I sold mine. I don't need it because I have a PC. I have a gaming laptop. I can play Xbox games on my PC, on my gaming laptop. So I got many options. Uh, I can play it on the uh, ASOS ROG Li, right? Steam Deck. So I can play those games there. Um, here is what I don't understand about Microsoft and Xbox. They're a big company. They're not a small company. Multi-billion dollars, right? They're multi, hundreds of billions of dollars a year they pull in. They're, they're a big company. With all of the money that they have, with all that resource that they have, they're struggling to, to bring us these first-party exclusives. No, no, no. Think about that. No, no, really. This is the most bizarre thing. You guys know that, that Microsoft is wealthier than Sony, right? If you look at uh, Microsoft net worth, they're much wealthier than Sony. You know that. So what I don't understand about the Microsoft is... Obviously, the money is not an issue. They have money. They got resources. They could hire companies. They could put teams together to, to work on the Unreal Engine 5 and bring something sup super great, great, fresh new ideas. But they're not doing that. They're not doing that, man. They're not doing that. What is Phil Spencer doing? Buying out these companies like Activision merger, Bethesda, and still, they got nothing to show for it. What do they got? Starfield? <laughs> Redfield? <laughs> and Indiana Jones? I don't know. We'll see how that is. And it's a first person, so... I don't know. I, I can't tell you, really. You know. If that's going to be successful. Um, so, Hellblade 2. Yes, it looks phenomenal. Listen. Listen. No one's going to complain about the graphics. 
just like I didn't complain about Callisto Protocol graphics. But it's not all about the graphics, dude. Then it's just a technical demo. Yes, Hellblade 2 looks like a CGI movie. It looks freaking amazing. Unreal Engine 5 point whatever. 5.1. It looks amazing. And it's going to look amazing. But it's only five hours long. Uh, and it looks like it's repetitive. It looks like it's uh, stuck at 30 FPS with a some dynamic 4K resolution. Um, really? All these years? All of this time? You created the Xbox Series X and you can't even run your own game that you've been promoting since 2020 uh, to do 4K60. So th there's really, I mean, th it's a concern. Like, you know, you, 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 there's these red flags all over the place when it comes to the Xbox. Way too many red, red, red flags. Giant, big red flags. And I think even the Xbox fanboys are starting to notice these big, giant, red flags. They're everywhere. And people are starting to wonder, hey, man, what's going on? It's 2024. Here we are, April 2024. PlayStation 5 already has two, two, two exclusives. Excuse me, three. Hell Divers 2, very successful, breaking all kinds of records uh, uh, on the multiplayer. He might even compete with uh, GTA Online and uh, Call of Duty. Then you got Rise of the Ronin doing pretty good. And then now you got Stellar Blade coming out on uh, April 26th. It's been four months of this year, and Sony PlayStation already has three. Three exclusives very successful three exclusives so it really it makes you wonder about microsoft like where they where what's okay we're on this train i would like to know where this train is taking us all right yes I, we're on this train right now because if i don't know where this train is going on the next stop i'm getting out i'm getting out i'm not gonna take a ride with this train because i don't know where it's going and that's the way i feel about xbox microsoft i just i'm i feel like i'm on this train this green 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 train and i have no idea where it's going so why should i invest my money why should you invest your money onto a train that you have no clue where it's going like where are we going what are we doing? What is this? PlayStation, you know exactly where you're going. You're going into the greatness. You're guaranteed greatness. You don't have to worry about it. Um, but with, with, with Xbox, it's like you have no idea. You have no idea. You know. So I really don't know, man. It, it, it's, I can't really tell you. I, I'm just... I don't know. I really don't know what's going on with the Xbox. I really don't know. <laughs> Japanese Sony CEO laid off 10,000 staffs in the U.S. because the U.S. Department of Sony became Vogue and all that and wasn't representing Sony's future. Think about that. Did you hear about that? Oh, we see in Japan, uh, they're not into that whole Vogue thing. Uh, you know, Japanese culture. I have a cousin who lives in Osaka. And dude, it's like night and day difference. Like America, United States of America and Japan, it's like, it's like a different planet, bro. He tells me it's like it's like a different planet. Uh, you're not gonna find that Vogue shit over there. You're not gonna find that nonsense over there. But also, to be fair, 
Japan, it's a small country. It's like the size of California. I'm not saying it's super small, but when you compare it to United States of America with 50 states, um, you got to remember, America, it's so big. You know, somebody said this to me a long time ago. I forgot his name. Uh, a friend of mine uh, I used to work with. I forgot his name. Um, anyway, he said to me, we were just talking about stuff and politics and other countries and all that. And he said to me, I love this country. I love America. I wouldn't want to live nowhere else. But one of the biggest problems that America has, it is so big that it doesn't even know what it wants to be because it's so big. And it's so true. America, it's so big that it doesn't even know what it wants to be. Because it's so big. You go to Texas, there's a different vibe. You go to California, there's a different vibe. You go to uh, Carolinas, there's a different vibe. You go to uh, New York, you go to Pennsylvania, you know, South Philly, Virginia, it's all Ohio, it's a different vibe. You go to Michigan, it's a different vibe. You go to Midwest, it's a different vibe. You go to Alaska, totally different vibe. Uh, so, you know, America is so big that it doesn't even know what it wants to be because it's so big. You know what I mean? Now, you look at Japan. Yes, it's the size of California as an island, but the culture, it's pretty much one-sided, one way, right? They keep their culture one way. Their principle is one way. So... <sighs> America, it's always going to be an experiment. And I think maybe I should just kind of emphasize on this. America, it's a great country. But America, it's so big that it's always going to be an experiment. And it's been an experiment for 250, 260, 270 plus years. And it's going to continue to evolve to be this experiment. And we're going to go through many different phases of experiments of experiments but I think that's what makes this country so unique that's what makes it so unique it's the experiment even our forefathers said this is an experiment this is a huge undertaking to get all of these people everybody come here migrate here follow your American dream with all these different cultures and different backgrounds and all of that right uh, so yes, there's going to be issues. Yes, there's going to be disagreements. Yes, there's going to be Pepsi versus Coca-Cola. Yes, there's going to be um, differences between us. But I think what makes us so unique is the fact that we are democracy. And there's always an opportunity. Opportunity to do something different, Right? All right, so we're going through a phase of wokeness. And that, t that too shall pass. This woke thing shall pass as well. And after the woke stuff, something else will come along. And then after that, something else will come along. And et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I think that's what makes this country so unique, is these different experiments. If you look at the American history, it wasn't bed of roses. It wasn't bed of roses, dude. But it was an experiment. But I think it's a worthwhile experiment. Because look what we brought. Look at our culture. Look at our movies. Look at our military. Look, look, look at our... Uh, dude, everything we do is just freaking cool. I mean, it used to be, but it still is cool, right? Uh, there's something cool and hip about, I'm an American, right? Like, it just, just means something. Um, and I think we're going through these phases. And I think this is something that people don't see. But I see it, you know, and, and barely anybody talks about it. I might be probably the only, the only guy, first guy that actually mentions this, that actually talks about this. But that's what makes it so unique. I know it, right now it sucks. I don't need to be reminded of how bad things are right now. But this is not the first time. We had a great uh, recession in, in many different pasts throughout this country the economy wasn't always that great you know things was, wasn't always that good uh you know you have to you have to study the american history to find out just how bad it was 
But we managed to move to another phase, right? You look at 60s, you look at 70s, you look at 80s, you look at 90s, you look at early 2000s. We always move through these phases, bro. That's why they call it the experiment. And everybody wants to be part of this experiment. And that's what makes it great. Doesn't matter who you are. Black, brown, yellow, red, green, purple. We don't care. You're an American. There's an opportunity here for you to do something great. Let's experiment. Right? You want to make a change? Run for a congressman. Become a congressman. You want to make a change? Run for a governor. Make a change. Be an entrepreneur. Make a change, right? There's, there's always an opportunity. But you have to put in the hard work, of course. You got to put in the hard work, man. It's not going to happen by itself. But I think that's what makes it, that's what makes this country so unique. And, but it's so big, you know. People in UK, they know what they stand for. Everybody in the United Kingdom, they know how they feel about themselves. People in France, they know how to feel about themselves. People in Germany, they know how to feel about themselves. But here, this is a big experiment, dude. It's too big for us to know how to feel about ourselves. All we know is that we always strive for greatness. Right? We're always striving for something great. And I think that's what's pushing the whole thing forward. It's like the greatness. And mark my words, the greatness will always come from here. And the greatness will influence other Western countries in Europe and other places. But it always will come from here. Like it always did throughout the past. All right, guys, how did you like that speech? And today we celebrate our Independence Day. <laughs> that was a Bill Pullman speech. You guys, remember Bill Pullman? There you go. All right, let's continue. That was a great speech, guys. Come on now. Come on. Come on, man. I made you be proud to be American. I made you be proud to be American again. That's it. Mr. Forque for the President of the United States. Who's going to vote for Mr. Forque to be the President of the United States of America? That's it. Got this. <laughs> What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? Oh, you live in Vegas? This nice. particular Cheers. clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. I used to have a friend who used to live in Henderson. I used to go visit him, like, back in the days. But then so he why moved didn't to, she uh, tell me she knew about him? He Nash. moved to Seattle. Rogue? Recently. You better not to wonder what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand the bitch. But see, that's where I like, listen. That's what I love about Vegas. I love that it's wild. I like that each state is different. And I don't need a passport. I can just get in my car and go to a different state and experience that difference. I love that. I love it. Rogue's queen of the afterlife. Plays her pawns as she pleases. Did you just call me a pawn? I got a good look at her. She rose to the top because she reads people. So what if she keeps things to herself? It's a skill in her profession. Thank you, OG. Well, I think I she's a lying, that. manipulative bitch. She put me together with that raffin. Did you know that? I appreciate that, OG. Like I said, I, you know, remember that Call of Duty live stream I did? When you were telling me about your situation with the GameStop and how you got the wrong Xbox Series S, you know, uh, and uh, you got the Xbox One S instead of Series S. And remember when I told you 
Um, I mean, I'm a flawed person. Like, I'm a flawed human being. You know, uh, I'm not going to sit here and pretend to, to, like, act like I was a, you know. Like, I did some stuff in the past I'm not proud of, you know. And that's something I have to own it. I have to own up to that. I had to take a full ownership, and I am. But what I tried to okay, do, we're I tried there. to. We'll gather my guys. I tried then write to learn how to be a better man. Every day, I'm never going to be a perfect man. But I tried to learn how to be a better man. Yeah. That's all I can do, man. Would you look what the cat dragged in? Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. Me, this is Scorpion. <laughs> Mitch. Two old friends. Hey guys. Hello. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. The Raffin screwed me over. I'll get them back, but I need your help. Come with me. We'll thrash them, the four of us. You know, we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Serious? So the best thing, you know, see, you learned a lesson from that, right? So you learned a lesson. Obviously, you know you're never going to get your money back. That's over and done with. You have to accept that fact, right? But you learn a valuable lesson from that situation. And the lesson is don't ever buy anything from GameStop. And it took me a while to realize that how badly I got screwed over from from GameStop. I haven't gone to GameStop since 2014. 2014. What? Eight years? Nine years? Something like that. Almost, uh, almost ten years. Um, I haven't been there almost ten years, and I'm never gonna go to GameStop, cause I I learned, I learned my lesson. You know, guys. Same thing with women. If she screwed you over one time, she'll screw you another time and another time. As long as you let it, as long as you give her a green light to let her know, yeah, you can continue doing this. Same thing with friends. If they fucked you over before, they're going to fuck you over again and again and again and again. As long as you pull down your pants and bend over and let them know it's okay to, to put a big fatty up in your, you know, behind. So you got to learn from these, from these mistakes to say, hey, I'm not going to let this happen again, right? I don't want to feel like that again. I don't want to go through that same process again. I've been there. I didn't like it. I don't want to go through that again. So what is the solution? Solution is to learn from those old mistakes. Now, granted, there will be new mistakes. There's always going to be some sort of mistakes you're going to make. But you learn from those mistakes and you try not to repeat the old mistakes. That's all you can do. Try not to repeat old mistakes yeah you're gonna make some new mistakes up in the future don't worry and nothing you can do about that but you can avoid the old mistakes you know and that that's a huge benefit avoiding the old mistakes right so that's it lesson learned life is your best teacher dude uh if you want someone to 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 be your life coach well coach is your life why you need another guy to, 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 to be your life coach? No, you don't need that. The life is your best coach. Life tells you everything you need to know. It's connected to the universe. It sends you the signal to your instinct, and your instinct, it's sending a signal to your brain, and it's letting you know, hey, stay away from this chick. Stay away from this guy. Stay away from this company. And... Focus on your intuition. If your intuition tells you, let's do this, then let's do that. 
if your intuition tells you, hey, let's not do that. That's kind of stupid. We've been there before. Why you want to take that unnecessary risks? Don't take it. Stay focused on just what your intuition is telling you. Morgan Freeman talked about this. You know, he did a, he did a speech about this. So true. He says, I listen to a voice. You know which voice I listen to? I says, not mine. My intuition. My instincts. That's the kind of voice I listen to, you know? If your intuition tells you, hey, this feels wrong. I am getting bad vibes from this person. You need to get the fuck out of there. If your intuition tells you, hey, this doesn't feel right, this company, I don't know. It's kind of shady. Get the fuck out of there. If your intuition tells you, I don't want to sell this product to this person. This person getting some shady vibes from this person. Your intuition is telling you this guy's shady. Very shady. Then don't make a deal. Don't sell your product to him. Find someone else. I learned this the hard way, dude. At my age, 45, I had to go through all these mistakes to learn this the hard way. But the only way to learn is the hard way. There is no easy way to learn. How are you going to learn easy way if you never fell down and hurt yourself? If you don't know what it feels like to be betrayed, to be stabbed in the back, to feel depressed, to feel angry, how the fuck are you going to know? How the fuck are you going to know? And to learn. You can't learn if you're comfortable. You're never going to learn when you are comfortable. The only way you're going to learn is when you are uncomfortable. When it fucking stinks, when, when, when it hurts. Then you'll fucking learn. But that's the way life works. Life teaches you the hard way. Not the easy way. And I had to learn this shit the hard way too. Oh, I love Morgan Freeman, dude. I love that guy. Not only is he a great actor, but he's also a great person. And his voice, listen, man, I can go to sleep listening to Morgan Freeman's voice. I, could, I can go easily to sleep. I can turn the volume all the way up and listen to Morgan Freeman and go to sleep. He has such a comfortable, relaxing voice, man, that it's just, it's almost like a god. You know, almost like a God voice. You know, it almost feels like a God voice, man. He's a, oh yeah, he's a, he's a living legend. Just, I love, I love, I love that human being. I love Morgan Freeman, man. I love him. I love him. What a great human being. What a great human being, man. But you won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to... Sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Really could use your help. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. Relax, This Pan isn't Am. about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No Relax chance, your but, anus, Pan but Saul never said a thing about gear. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. Oh, shit. Guys, I totally forgot. It's almost 7 o'clock. I gotta go eat my dinner. I gotta make a dinner because I took my medicine, but I also have to eat something when I take my medicine. So I'm gonna take a little break. I'll be back later on. Uh, as soon as I finish, because I have to make something first. Go to my kitchen, make some salad, make some uh, 
tomatoes and some onions and some chicken. I got some white meat chicken and all that. So thank you guys. I'll be back. Love you guys. Thank you for being here. Listen. Enjoy the moment, guys. Just enjoy the moment. Don't let stuff bother you. You're going to get tested. I just want to say this. I know I'll be back. I'll be back. i got to eat my stuff. i got to eat my uh, dinner. But don't get triggered. Don't get tested. I mean, you will get tested. Life is going to test you. And I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I know it's very hard to to ignore. I know it's very hard to not to let something bother you. But remember, that feeling that you have of anger, that too shall pass within 40 to 45 minutes. So why would you want to get riled up about something that's going to pass? Why get angry about something that's going to pass? That feeling's going to pass. And then you're going to regret looking like a jackass, being angry and this, this and that. I was told this too, man, by some really wise, older uh, gentlemen, gentlemen that I kind of was lucky that I have in my life so they can tutor me in a good direction. But, um, so yeah, I just want to say that. This goes for everybody. Guys, I know. You're going to be in the traffic, stuck in the traffic. This guy's honking the horn. Uh, you want to give him a finger? No, just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let him honk the horn. Let it go. The guy's screaming in your ears, just walk away. Walk away. Um, you know, you got to learn. You got to learn not to let that stuff bother you. All right, guys, I'm going to eat. I just wanted to say this because I just felt like I felt like I had to say it. I felt like I had to say this. Not just for you guys, but for anybody who's going to be watching this in the future. I just felt like I had to say this. You know. All right, guys. Love you all. I'll be back. I got to go eat. <laughs> I'll be back. We'll continue.